Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Edgar, how are you? Licenciado. You change I you change your hairstyle. Let's wait for your wife to finish her class. Good evening, teacher. Your microphone is mute, teacher. It's is the teacher. Whose teacher is that one? This one. What is that? Your teacher name? What is the number of the professor? How do you say Lucy, Lucy Guzman. Lucy, Lucy Guzman. <laughs> okay. Thank Lucy. you, teacher Lucy. I can listen to you. <laughs> okay, very good. Welcome. Pay attention. Hey. <laughs> okay, good. Hello, Nidia. How are you, Mr. Ever, Angelito? Hey, Mr. Ever. Sure. Welcome to Hi, the class. Teacher. Hello. Welcome. Let me just finish opening my book. I was okay, give me a second. Miss Paola nos ha castigado. <laughs> no, come on. No. no, I'm talking about Miss Paola. <laughs> it is not, I was very happy. Because yeah, of I'm, that. I'm happy as well. Yeah, but it's not like that no, she punishes. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> you see, but it's, it is nice. I mean, because, well, the idea is that they can help you. And if not, for sure, they are going, it is going to affect your, your, your performance, right? And the percentage. Because it was a problem with the platform, with the Zoom platform. Because okay. we have the videos of the class and everything, but uh, the minutes that they count on you, uh, they are not there. So it it seems that you didn't take the class. Todos aparecemos conectados, pero nadie aparece con qué minutos. So it's I'll like... Be, I'll be glad to be here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I am I'm very happy. I know she's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> And Paula, oh, exactly in the love of students. No, but we're we're going to be we're going to do that. And I said that for me it was perfect. I was more than glad to do it, and I was I was very happy to okay. to actually to actually come and teach for all of you. And I said, okay. yay, another day with my kids. I said. <laughs> that was so nice. Uh, time is over. It was a really good the time is over, teacher. Let's start working and here I will start with my presentation. I have my PowerPoint around. And yesterday I asked you to uh, work a little bit on the reading on the book because we were going to use it, right? Did you have the opportunity to check on the on the reading? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, no. If you didn't, don't worry, we're going to do it right now. We're going to check on, on that and we're going to practice a little bit. Okay, I will go with this. And let me share my book with you. Let's see, let me see. Here I go. 
here, here, here. Ten, 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 ten. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to have a couple of uh, questions for us to practice a little bit of speaking today. We are going to practice speaking and then we are going to go over the reading, right? I have here some uh, general questions. I am going to be jumping on different topics, but we are going to cover these uh, first three questions. I have here the first one. How often do you eat fast food for lunch? How often do you eat fast food for lunch? Uh -huh. How often do you eat fast food for lunch? Never teacher because I work I work at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That, that was that was very sad, right? Yeah. Never because yeah. I work at home. <laughs> yeah, but okay, no chicken campero, no nothing. Nothing, teacher, nothing. nothing. <laughs> Only the the cooking, cooking, and cooking. Okay, yeah. What about the rest? Fast food includes everything: hot dogs, hamburgers, campero chicken, Kentucky chicken, and all these type of chickens. Yeah. Uh, all these type of hamburgers. Once a week. Once a week, right. What is your favorite? Hamburger. Hamburgers, <laughs> okay. What about the rest? How often do you eat fast food for lunch? In my Once case, teacher, uh, okay. I often, once a, a month. Okay, I often, when you say I often and once a month, it is like two uh, frequencies together. It's like I often eat or I eat once a month. So I often eat once a month. Once no, a no, month. You, you cannot use the two. No podemos ocupar los dos. Porque si decimos I often eat es que como seguido. But if I say I often eat once a month, estamos ocupando often y once a month. Que tenemos dos secuencias de tiempo juntas. So you say I often eat or I eat once a month. ¿Cuál de las dos? <laughs> I often once a month. No, sweetie, we eat. cannot use them together. <laughs> no los podemos usar juntos. Podemos usar I often I eat, eat or I eat once a month. I often eat. Okay, I often eat. That's good. Very good. I often eat. Excellent. And my, and my favorite food, um, uh, chicken, uh, pinulito. <laughs> yeah, hey, I have never tried it. I have seen it. Lo he visto. But I have never it's, tried. Is it good? It's, it's, yes, it's delicious. Uh, um, it's better the the in comparison the 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 don pollo. In comparison with. It yes. It's, or it's you better. can say, you can say in comparison with don pollo or compare with. Sorry, don pollo. They are not paying anything for this commercial. Este yes. campo no es pagado. <laughs> <laughs> si no tenemos aquí el representante de la alcaldía que nos puede decir. So, aquí no estamos recibiendo nada. Aquí. You recommend, teacher. I, okay, I will, I will go and I will say like, Edson, I tried pinulito and it was very good. <laughs> okay, Mayra is going to give us some announcements. Good. Si quieren en este momento, it's okay. Hola, muy buenas noches, estimados estudiantes. Buenas noches, Miss. Muchas gracias por el espacio. Eh, únicamente vengo a informarles una pequeña cosita, estimados estudiantes. Eh, soy de parte del personal administrativo de inglés corporativo y únicamente vengo a informarles. Eh, bueno, ya les notificaron a ustedes por medio de WhatsApp eh, la reprogramación que se va a dar. Esto se dio a causa de que un problemita de con Zoom. Ese día Zoom estaba de rebelde y no nos quiso generar los minutitos de asistencia. Entonces, como ustedes sabrán, nosotros vamos sumando los minutos de asistencia día con día para ustedes poder generarles el porcentaje de asistencia recomendado y solicitado por INSI. Entonces, este, ya que pues, eh, Zoom no nos generó, 
hay muchos de ustedes que nos aparecen con cero de asistencia, aunque se hayan conectado, aunque aquí hayan estado. Eh, nosotros sí necesitamos eh, esos minutos y ustedes también los necesitan. Entonces, por eso se va a dar la reprogramación el día de mañana de la clase. Entonces, el día de mañana, ustedes recuerden, tienen una cita con la Miss a la misma hora y por esta misma sintonía, ¿ok? No se les vaya a olvidar, agenden, no pongan alarma, eh, no sé, díganle a un amigo, mira, llámame porque yo mañana tengo clase y que no se me vaya a olvidar. Van a tener una clase extra, véanlo así, va a ser un plus. ¿Sí o no, Miss? Va a ser un plus. Sí. Sí, tenemos okay. un montón de cosas ahí preparadas para ustedes, unos cuantos exámenes, unas cuantas presentaciones, <ríe> cositas en sí. <ríe> ok, entonces eso ha sido todo de mi parte. Muchísimas gracias por el espacio. Los esperamos el día de mañana. Que tengan una feliz noche, estudiantes. Adiós. Gracias, Thank Mayra. You. Muy amable. Thank you. Thank you. Así que eh, nos vamos a ver mañana. Yo sé que ustedes se van a recordar y ahí me van a tener a mí todo el día acordándoles que, que vamos a estar reunidos el día de mañana. Y pues yo igual ahí estoy trabajándoles una clase práctica para que podamos hacer los cuatro skills. Vamos a practicar listening, vamos a practicar speaking, reading y writing. Así que vamos a hacer un montón de actividades bien, bien divertidas. Yo digo, bueno, si nos vamos a reunir en un día extra, pues hacer cosas diferentes, hacer cosas extra distintas para que ustedes... Eh, la disfruten y pasen ese ratito que vamos a tener juntos diferente ok, yo sé que es viernes y todo, pero es mejor que estén guardados en su casa, ahí nada nos pasa y aprendemos y yo pues feliz de estar aquí con ustedes así que mañana nos veremos por una hora más, así que ese fue el anuncio del día, let's go back to English, thank you very much for all these this announcements in Spanish I really like because in, in Spanish I am one person and in English I am, I am another person, so it's pretty cool it's like having two personalities in Spanish I am pretty normal, but in English it's nice, it sounds beautiful well, so let's go back to the questions, we were right here talking about the bad food that you love to eat What is that type of food that you know that it's bad for you, but you still eat it? ¿Cuál es esa comida que ustedes saben que es mala para ustedes, pero siempre se la comen? Los chicharrones. Los chicharrones. Los chicharrones. Pork, right? Pork. Ever, what is it? Does the queens count? Oh, Which I love one? it. The drinks? Yeah. <laughs> I love they count. Soda they teacher. count. <laughs> the soda. I'm, yeah, the soda. I'm addicted to soda. You are addicted. Yeah, and it yeah, happens. Bad. It happens because man. <laughs> <laughs> it I, is bad I, for us, but then I, here we are. I right? think I, I drink a can each day. <laughs> No, that, yeah, that's bad. I mean, yeah, I eat, me, I drink maybe on Saturday or on Sunday, maybe, but every day. Hmm. Well, but there are many things. I mean, we say like, oh, it's all it's bad, but then we eat other things. For example, we eat sweet bread or you eat cake or candies or ice cream. So it's like, or, or a lot of coffee, right? I drink soda once a month. Once a month. Yes, I drink a lot of water. Yeah, me too. I drink a lot of water. You see, I, I have here. Be like Edgar teacher. I have I have my water with me all the time, but today I have my other friend here. <laughs> the coffee. <laughs> and the, the coffee, coffee cup. And the, you know what's funny? I have the coffee cup, and I drink it at the end of the class. So <laughs> it is all cold, cold and everything. Yeah, it's very cold. But I have it here. I am just like keeping it with me. I think it's mental. It's a mental thing. That should be a nice coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Because when I when I start the class at, at 7.50, uh, it's hot and nice. But then now it's cold. It's, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how often do you go to the beach in summer? How often do you go to the beach in summer? Once in a year. Once a year. Yeah. One yeah. time in the summer. One time in summer. Once a month. Once a month. What a beautiful thing, Cesar. Yeah. You are very lucky. Is it near your house? 
I mm, yeah, but I like to go to live. That's beautiful. I live in the Libertad. Ah, <laughs> but it's not that far. Ah, yeah. yeah. How how far is the beach from your house? ¿Qué tan lejos le queda? Um, like uh, 40 minutes. Ah, yeah, ah. it's very close. What a beautiful thing. My God, I wish I had the beach that close. I will I will live there. But it's it is curious because I have a friend who lives almost in front of the beach and she doesn't go. And I always say, si yo viviera en tu casa, yo llego, tiro los zapatos y me voy corriendo. <laughs> but no, she says like, no, I never go. And the, it's the beach is right here. And the house is like one or two blocks from the beach. She could go walking every day. But you see, some people can, some people cannot. How Tell sad. me people. How sad. How often do you text people? How often do you text on WhatsApp? Once each minute. Every time. <laughs> All the time. All the time. All the day. All the day. Every five minutes. In my, my God. case, it's because it's my work to ah, send. Yeah, yeah. And so all the time. Yeah, in, in my case, I have to be checking WhatsApp all the time because. I have to be dependent of many people and I have to check it. So, but do you, how do you feel when, when you don't receive messages, for example? What is going on with me? You, you what check happened? What, yeah, what happened? <laughs> is there internet connection here? Yes, <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> how often do you check your email? Every day. When in English people send me <laughs> a email. When English corporativo sends emails, that's the only time. How often do you check? How often do you check social media platforms? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all these things. Every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. Yeah, every day. Twice a month. Twice a month. And who creates content for social media? Do you create content for social media? Yes, in my case, uh, you, I you, create you. social media. Yes, uh, 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 advertising. Oh, that's so cool. Me too. <laughs> I do it for the academy. So you create advert advertising, but do yes. you create? And, do you, uh huh? And. Uh, I, how do you say, discovery? Discover. This, I, I discover and, and, and platform, uh, Adobe Photoshop is. Oh, yes. Is, uh, is cool. Uh, uh, how different. Uh, Options. Uh, option, yes, correct. Thank you. And different, different tools, yes. Yes. I love to work with Canva. It's a very be beautiful one. You oh, can, Canva, you, Canva. It's, yeah. it's good. It's very nice. I am like kind of a junior thing, right? I am just like doing. But do you create content, people? I mean that you post on Facebook, you post on Twitter, you post on Instagram. Postean cosas o solo ven? I post or I observe? I serve TikTok, the, <laughs> the shoes. Oh, okay, you, you, you create TikToks, so that's nice. Any other influencer here? No? Hey, estamos perdiendo aquí. Ya hiciéramos la clase en vivo aquí. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't create content. Ustedes solo ven contenido, no crean. Follow Please. teacher Nati. Yeah, follow, <laughs> follow me on TikTok. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, no, I, I have I have TikTok because my son likes uh, to create TikToks, but most of them we do them for us, right? He enjoys doing the choreographies and all this. But it, we keep them private because he's very young so 
Yeah, yeah I, I do TikToks. Don't I, I love the, the TikTok forever young. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah, but now there are some cases that eh, we should talk about that. I caso de caso I and TikTok. That you say quiten el teléfono. Yeah, it happens, right? So you don't create content. You don't use Twitter? Do you use Twitter? No? No, I don't. No, I don't. Instagram? Yes, I do. Facebook? Yes. yes. I use Twitch? Twitch? No, I don't. No? I don't. Do you use? I don't know what it is. You say uh, Snapchat? No. No, I don't. No. TikTok? Yes. <laughs> WhatsApp? Yes, I do. WhatsApp? It's another yes, social, yes, social media platform. What, good, what very good. WhatsApp business <laughs> all the day. <laughs> and the last, that was the last okay. question that I had for you, right? And there are many other platforms that we can use, right? It is interesting, the different forms of communication that we have nowadays, right? We have a lot of different types of uh, social media uh, platforms to connect with other people. Okay, so let's go back here. I am going to go back to my book and I will close this one and I will go to my book. Here it is. Okay. So yesterday we were working on clauses with because. And we were working on the different, uh, the different counterparts, the different sentences, right? We were talking about the things that we could never do because we are not good at. And today, as I told you yesterday, we are going to work on uh, find the job that's right for you. This is, this is a reading, right? And in this one, we have the different types of jobs, right? We have the realistic, the investigative, the artistic, the social, the enterprising, the conventional, right? We have the different types of jobs. And for sure, we have the explanation of this. What are we going to do, people? We are going to go over a reading evaluation exercise on which we are going to work in groups. And the reading is going to be in groups. I am going to read it first. And I need you to pay attention. Pay attention to the different pronunciation, to the different words, to the different things. You will have the chance to ask for questions. Teacher, how do you say this? Teacher, what is the pronunciation of this? Because later on, we are going to read it together. You as a group are going to divide the reading and you are going to read different sections of it, okay? Después se van a dividir la lectura en cuatro partes. Yo la voy a dividir. Y con su grupo, ustedes van a leer, van a practicar hasta que salga. Perfect. And when you have it, you are going to come and read for everybody. Okay? So, right now, I need you to check on the reading. Tell me if you have questions on vocabulary and on pronunciation. Okay? Check that out. Teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Uh, before we pass uh, another activity, I want to uh, to 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 make or to do a question. Ah, uh, to ask a question. Uh -huh, to ask a question. Yes. Um, teacher, in the in the paragraph uh, said nearly fifty of all workers have jobs they aren't happy with. Mm -hmm. Uh, why which uh, is at the end of the question? If okay. I I will can say, be, be, uh, for example, I I will can say nearly fifty of workers have job that they don't are happy. Okay, that they are not happy. But in this case, when you say I'm not happy with, you are mentioning that you are not happy with something that you already mentioned. Okay. Este with significa a trabajos, right? That you mentioned, right? Nearly 50% of all workers have jobs they aren't happy with, okay? With what aren't you happy with the job, right? 
In this case, you are referring to the word job. For you not to repeat, right? For you not to repeat. And when you say, for example, with, uh, you can say, do you like English? Yeah, I am okay with that. And that is another form because you have something extra there. But it's like, I'm okay with, like, I am okay with English, right? In this case, with refers to the jobs. This is a form mm. of expression, right? I am okay. happy with. Thank you, teacher. Yes, that's the meaning of this. Okay. And if you say like that they are, which, uh, which they are not happy, and it will sound like a strange, right? It is better to take with and to use it as a referral for the previous word that you use. That is the meaning of with in this case. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good observation. You, good observation, Raul. Very good. Let's go here. Okay. Check on the reading. Check on the reading. I am going to do the groups first so you can know who you are going to work with. Okay. Para que ustedes se den cuenta con quién van a trabajar. And I am going to do groups. Okay. Four groups of five. Okay. There you go. I am going to open the groups just for you to see who you are going to work with. Okay. Ahorita voy a abrir los grupos solo para que vean con quién van a trabajar y los traigo de regreso. Okay. Anoten, ¿sí? ¿Con quién van? Joanita, me la regresó. Okay. Sí, otra vez me regresó. Okay, but Joana and Jancy, you are together in group number three. Ustedes van juntas en el grupo tres con César, Edson y Eduardo. Bueno. So, I am going to bring you back. I hope they... Okay. So, chicos, por favor, anoten los nombres de las personas que están en su grupo para que se den cuenta con quién van, porque vamos a regresar a la sala. So Me there. dijo <laughs> César Edson Eduardo. César Edson Eduardo en Jansi. Ah, Jansi. En Jansi. Ok. I will bring you back. Okay. I will just cut the... The reading. Just give me one second. I will have number one, number two, number three, four, five, and six. Okay, those are the parts of the reading. I will bring people back. Okay, I have people back. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. Okay, welcome back, my dear class. I have now the reading divided in different groups, right? We are going to, uh, as you can see, you have different members in your group and we have different parts on the reading. So here we have six different sections and in some groups that you have only five members. So we are going to be working on this one as only one. Okay, si eran cinco miembros en el grupo, este va a ser uno solo. Y si son seis, you have two different sections on the reading, okay? So I am going to erase this one to make it better. And then and we're going to do it. <laughs> what a we are, And if we are four? If you are four, you can have, for example, one, two, three. All this one, 
this can be a, only one. Let me just make it in a different color. This can be one person to talk about the different types of, of jobs. This one, it will be one, two, three, four. Okay, you can have this one as number one, number two, number three, and number four, if you are four members, right? I know you love my pictures, right? Yo sé que adoran mis numeritos y mis, y mis rayas están hermosamente eh, perfectas. <laughs> it's really horrible, I know. But I do my best. I try my best. So uh, depending, right? Depending on, on how you are. I am going to read. Pay attention. Pay attention. Because when you go and practice, van a ir a practicar con su grupo, y de ahí cuando volvamos, el grupo va a leer. Cada quien va a tomar su parte. Pero cada error va a quitar punto .10 de la nota. Okay, <laughs> so we will see. We will see who is going to get the best grade. Vamos a ver qué grupo se saca la mejor nota. Every mistake is going to take point 10 out of your grade, okay? So please pay attention on pronunciation. Pay attention on punctuation. Pay attention on every detail, okay? Let's start. Listen, listen, please. Find the job that's right for you. Find the job that's right for you. And I will make it bigger for you to read. Nearly, okay. Si le quieren sacar captura en la primera parte, that would be perfect. Nearly 50% of all workers have jobs they are unhappy with. Don't let this happen to you. If you want to find the right job, don't rush to look through the ads in the newspaper. Instead, sit down and think about yourself. What kind of person are you? What makes you happy? According to psychologist John Holland, there are six types of personalities. Nobody is just one type, but most people are mainly one type. For each type, there are certain jobs that might be right and others that are probably wrong. The realistic type is practical and likes working with machines and tools. The investigative type is curious and likes to learn, analyze situations and solve problems. The artistic type is imaginative and likes to express himself or herself by creating art. The social type is friendly and likes helping or training other people. The enterprising type is outgoing and likes to persuade or lead other people. The conventional type is careful and likes to follow routines and keep track of details. If you think about who you are, you can make the right job decision. Liz is a good example. Liz knew she wanted to do something for children. She thought she could help children as a school counselor or a lawyer. She took counseling and law courses and hated them. After talking to a career counselor, she realized the problem was that she's an artistic type. Liz studied film and she now produces children's TV shows and loves it. You a lot of reading. Questions. Teacher, how do you pronounce? Let's go with the first one. Traten de leerlo. En un caso como este, tienen que leer el párrafo y encontrar una palabra donde se traben o que no sepan cómo se dice. Por ejemplo, ahorita que todos tienen el micrófono apagado, pueden ir así como nearly 50% of all workers have jobs that they aren't happy with. Don't let this happen to you. If you want to find the right job, don't rush to look through the ads in the newspaper. Instead, sit down and think about yourself. What kind of person are you? What makes you happy? Teacher, yeah. 
Según la pronunciation, ima, imagine, la cosa me imagínate. 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 Imagination. Imaginative. And some people say imaginative, but it's like imaginative, imaginative. It's, the, it's okay, both. But we are with the first one. Questions with the first one? Pronunciation questions? No, nobody. Si no, menos diez ahí al momento de leerlo. Share. Yeah. Um, rush to look. Through eh, this. Okay, the ads. The ads. Ads son los anuncios del periódico. And it says, if you want to find the right job, don't rush to look through the ads. Through the ads. Don't rush to look through the ads in the newspaper. If you want to find the right job, don't rush to look through the ads in the newspaper. Any other one? How do you, uh, how do you, uh, how do you say, teacher? Con counseling. Counseling, counseling. Counseling. Yeah, it is, I think it's the last one, right? Yes. Yeah. In this case, here we have a counselor, counselor and counseling. As a school counselor, and she took counseling and law courses. Counselor, counseling. Counseling. Yes. Teacher. Yep. How do you say uh, she thought she could help children? Ah, uh, in this one, she thought. Yes. She, she thought she could help children. She, she thought, thought she could. She thought she could. She thought she could help children. Ella pensó que podía. She thought and, she could. And how you pronounce low curses? Low, law, law. It's like law curses. She took counseling and law curses. It's like uh, only Please. with L and A. Law, no, with law, uh-huh. No, low. Because if no. not, it's low. It's low courses. Low courses and hated them. And hated them. In hated this case, them. in this case, a qué se refiere, a qué se refiere them en este caso? Ellos. A ellos quiénes? Eso. Low courses. Uh -huh. The low courses, very good. The low yeah. courses. You are talking about the low courses. Okay. Questions about number two. Acerca del número dos. Preguntas. According to psychologist John Holland, there are six types of personalities. Nobody is just one type, but most people are mainly one type. For each type, there are certain jobs that might be right and others that are probably wrong. Questions? Questions? That might. That might. That might be yeah. right. That might be might. right. Might be right. That might be right. And others that are probably wrong. And with the different types of personalities. There we have, the realistic type is practical and likes working with machines and tools. The investigative type is curious and likes to learn, analyze situations and solve problems. The artistic type is imaginative or imaginative and likes to express himself or herself by creating art. The social type is friendly and likes helping or training other people. The enterprising type is outgoing and likes to persuade and lead, or lead 
other people. The conventional type is careful and likes to follow routines and keep track of details. Okay, and the final part, if you think about who you are, you can make the right job decision. Liz is a good example. Liz knew she wanted to do something for children. She thought she could help children as a school counselor or a lawyer. She took counseling and law courses and hated them. After talking to a career counselor, she realized the problem was that she's an artistic type. Liz studied film and she now produces children's TV shows and likes it and loves it. Okay, Menodis <laughs> and loves it. So this is the reading. I have a question on the chat. It says, ¿Cómo se pronuncia mainly? Mainly, 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 mainly. Okay, so there you go. Let me just send you the different parts on the chat. So you can have it. Uy, alguien está teniendo problemas con su. Here we have the first one. Then we go with the second one. What a beautiful thing. Then we go with the third one. Then I go with the next one. I love the pictures that I am sending. Uy, I made a mistake. And the last one. And I am going to send you the last one. There you go. Okay, so you have the complete reading on your chat, okay? Now I am going to send you to working groups and practice. Each group can ask for help. Si algún grupo se traba, puede pedir ayuda y yo voy rápido a ayudarles, okay? Let's go back with your groups. Divide the paragraph. Ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es que se van a dividir el párrafo. ¿Quién va a leer qué parte? Okay, but you need to practice so you can all listen to the group, okay? Todos se complementan. Aparte de que todos tienen una parte diferente, pero todos se complementan porque la nota es de todos. So please, let's work, let's practice, and let's do it. I'm going to send you right now for you to divide the different sections, okay? Go ahead. Very well. Nanelita le dio la invitación. There you go. Excellent job. So I will give them a couple of minutes for them to talk and decide who is going to be working on which part of the reading. Let's go and check. Okay, partners who want to be the first or read the first paragraph. I want to be the first. Can I? Okay. Yes. Of yes. Teacher. Hello, hello. We are six of us. Okay, so you can divide. You can divide. Yep. And the first one, for example, this can be the Me, first one. I'm the first one. This is the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth, and the sixth. So you can divide it like that. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I will 
I will erase my drawings. There you go. This is number one, two, three, four, five, and six. There you go. I can I fix your problem. Now, who is going to be the first one? I'm going to be the first one. Okay. okay. Here you're right. Go ahead. Jenny. Jenny is the first one. <laughs> Okay, I won't, I won't draw on your picture anymore. <laughs> I will check on the next group. Continue. Now, continue dividing the, the next part. Bien. Bastante bien. Está bastante bien, sí, sí. Solo que creo que es un... Rush. Rush, yes. Don't rush. Rush. Rush y... y cuando... State. Y the último... Uh -huh. Cuando the último, la última oración, what makes you happy? What makes you happy? What made you happy? I, I like this type of groups, that you are analytical and that you help each other. That's the idea of this activity. La idea de esta actividad es esto mismo. Que ustedes se ayuden entre ustedes. Así como, mira, yo sé que lo pronuncias así, pero creo que es así. Creo que te saldría mejor así. That's, an, that's good feedback. I really like. Congratulations, group. Continue working. Thank, Thank you. you. Pues, si quiere, re, re, eh, de, démosle una leída más. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, teacher. I love these groups, very organized. I, I really like this. <laughs> okay, who's transmitting? Uh, hi, teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. good. And who is going to be number one? Me, teacher. Number Never. two? Me, teacher. Number three? Is Alejandra, but she say that she can, she have flu and she can speak. That much. Okay. And number five? I am. Okay, good. Very good. Let's see. This is. Okay, good. So, uh, continue working. I am going to come back in a minute, okay? Vuelve un segundo. Okay. Continue okay, working. Go ahead. No sé qué le pasó. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Eh, Lidia eh, no nos contesta, entonces estamos así como que en la última parte. <laughs> Estamos en la última parte. Let's o sea, sí, sí, incluirla, sí, incluirla o no. Yeah, I think, I think you can, you can include it. Let's see, this is group number one, right? How many are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to give you one more member, okay? I will add Samuel to see if Samuel can be here so he can help us instead of Nidia. Hola, Samuel. Hola, hola, aquí estoy. Lo Ay, sabes. está Nidia, yay. So, Samuel va a estar de oyente ahorita. Hello, Samuel. Ok, Nidia, Nidia volvió. Ok. Go ahead, go ahead. Eh, Nidia, este, you start in if you think and I finish. Eh, y... no, in the second. Okay. And the second is likes to persuade. Sí. Per persuade or lead. Mm -hmm. Likes persuade. to persuade or lead other people. Other people. Okay. And the conventional? That's the called? conventional. Yeah. The conventional type is careful. It's careful. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Siguiente, if you. Uh -huh. Siguiente, que comience con, if you think about who you are, you can make the right job decision. ¿Quién va a leer esa parte? Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please, you will say, hey, Samuel is here. There you go. We are missing. 
to participate. You need more participants. No, no but you have them. <laughs> or <Yeah>. this group. <laughs> I Sandra. think if the is Reina. Uh -huh. Reina, are you there? Ah, Reina doesn't have audio. Okay. Who is mm. next? Who is Sandra? Elvira. Elvira, right. Sandrina. Yeah. Elvira, are you there? Elvira. Elvira, hello. Elvirita, hello. Is your Nadi talking to Elvira? Hello, Elvira. I know you are there. I know you can listen to me. Elvira. Okay. So you can divide it then. You can divide it with, with people that we are here. I can keep uh, reading that that part. Okay, that that would be perfect. Okay, if you think about you are a, no, if you think about who you are, you can make the right job decision. Liz is a good example. Liz knew she wanted to do something for children. She thought. She could help children as a school counselor or a lawyer. She took counseling in law courses and hated them. After taking to a career counselor, she realized that the problem was that she is an artistic type. Liz studied film and she now produced produces children's TV shows and loves it. Very good. And loves them. And loves it. Good, 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 good. Okay. I will take you back for us to go over the attendance. Okay? And then okay. I will bring you back for you to keep working. That keep just... reading, fellows. Keep practicing. Okay? Keep, keep practicing. Okay. I will bring you back in a second. Okay? okay. Don't worry. All right. I will bring you back in a second. Okay, let me just go out of the room. Thank you. Hello, Samuel. No te funcionó la conexión. Okay, my dear class, I just brought you back for the attendance. And then I'm going to give you some extra minutes for you to work. Okay, let me just all the attendants. Okay, please, when you listen to your name, say here or present to all the ones that are here. Here we have. Thank you. Welcome back. Okay, the stress has entered to the group. <laughs> El estrés ha llegado al grupo. I can see you very concentrated in my reading, yeah. my paragraph, my part. <laughs> okay, good. I brought you back for the attendance, for the attendance only and for the announcements, okay? Alejandra Beatriz. Alejandra Beatriz. Alejandra. Thank you. Here she says. Thank you, thank you. 
Thank you. Angela Alejandro? Here, teacher. Cecilia de Los Angeles? Here, teacher. Cesar? Here, teacher. Thank you. Edgar Abel? I'm here, teacher. Edson Stanley? Here, teacher. Eduardo Jose? Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Elvira, thank you. I saw you on the chat. Ever Ernesto? I'm here, teacher. Gabriela Michelle? Present. Isabel Elizabeth? Present, teacher. Jenny Elizabeth? Present, teacher. Joana Yesenia? Present, teacher. Jose Daniel? Present, teacher. Carla Fabiola? Catherine Alejandra? Present, teacher. Thank you. Miguel Angel? Present. Nidia? Present, teacher. Raúl de Jesús? Present, teacher. Reina Elizabeth? Thank you. Uh, Ruth Elizabeth? Thank you, Samuel. Samuel Isaac? And... Sandra Leticia. Sandrita Leticia. Where are you? I, <laughs> there you present. <laughs> I found you. I found you. Don't worry. Yeah, let me see. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. Ruth, estaba con alguno de ustedes en el grupo Ruth. No, right. No, she has, she's not here. Okay, Ruth. Elizabeth and Jancy Astrid. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, very good job. So now each of you knows exactly what he or she is going to be in charge on the reading for tomorrow, okay? Each of you knows perfectly what you are going to say. Cada uno sabe qué parte le tocó en la lectura. So I need you to practice. I need you to work on that, okay? I need you to practice as much as possible because we are going to, we don't have more time for the presentations today. And I need you to practice, right? I need you to practice and master pronunciation. Remember, very important things. Respect punctuation, okay? That is important. Respect punctuation because you are not going to be reading like, like if you are just like little kindergarten kids, right? I like to express myself on talking. No, right? You have to read with the proper pronunciation and with the proper intonation, right? That is important. That is something important for tomorrow. Please keep a track of the different sentences, right? Teacher, yep. uh, uh, do you have uh, some audio about the... <laughs> I can be the audio. <laughs> Don't worry. I will send you an audio reading each of the parts, okay? But the idea is the idea is that you practice and master it, okay? Uh, right now I am going to record myself or you can you can uh, watch the recording of this class as well if you have any doubt, but I will send you an audio, right? I will send you an audio with each of the parts, okay? And that will be for tomorrow. Please get together with your group. Ustedes se pueden poner de acuerdo con su grupo, practicar ahí toda la cosa. The idea is that you do it great tomorrow. Tomorrow I will give you some minutes for you to practice, okay? No, desde que entremos. Lectura. No, right? <laughs> I will give you some minutes for you to practice. Cuando entremos, después de la bienvenida y el primer ejercicio, va eh, una reunión en grupo para que ustedes lo practiquen y vean cómo lo practican, cómo van, cómo van a presentarlo, okay? And then okay. we are going to present and evaluate, okay? That's important. I will do it organized. Don't don't think well, that I'm nervous, teacher. No, <laughs> no. I, I really want to, I really want to take the best out of you, right? Reading is the best way to practice. Believe me, it's the best way to practice. And reading aloud is it's very very necessary for your fluency. So don't feel nervous. You are going to do a great job. But I need you to practice, okay? No vayan a venir mañana a querer preguntar. ¿Cómo digo esto, teacher? No, right? You need to practice. If you have questions during the day, send me a message, okay? Me mandan un mensaje, mandenme un audio, whatever. But you can ask for help. Not in class. 
during the day, okay? So that would be for tomorrow. Don't feel nervous. You are like, oh my God, teacher. <laughs> Usted se puso de acuerdo con Paola para tener un examen extra. Yes. Voy a borrar estos minutos de eso. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You will do a great job. Practice, my dear students. I, uh, well, I will see you tomorrow in class. I'll send you a big hug. Practice a lot and have a beautiful night, okay? I will see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. I see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Teacher. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, Alejandrita. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye, my dear class.